From Nutrient Ag Solutions, this is Senior Meteorologist Andrew Pritchard with your Canadian Prairie Weather Story for Tuesday, September 6th, 2022, coming to you a day late, observing the Labor Day holiday yesterday. Tuesday morning temperatures, though, a little cooler in the west, a little warmer in the east right now, 17 degrees this morning in Winnipeg. Contrast that with the temperature of 4 degrees this morning in Calgary. The reason for the cooler temperatures, well, we got a front moving through, a disturbance moving through. You can kind of make it out right there. Some cooler air, some drier air coming in on the back side of this storm system. We've got another disturbance across the Pacific. This one will be making its way in here over the next few days, running into mostly some dry air. So not a lot in the way of precipitation expected over the next uh, week plus, even though we do have a couple of jet stream disturbances making their way through. Tuesday morning, the radar is clear across the prairie. No organized precipitation ongoing here this morning, and that will continue again for the next couple of days, even though we have a front coming through, maybe some isolated to scattered showers, some areas where it's more likely than in others. But Monday morning, Tuesday morning, excuse me, first disturbance making its way out of here. Again, cool, dry air coming in on the back side here. We'll put this into motion and take it through Thursday afternoon. You'll see the midweek disturbance come in right there toward the end of the loop. We'll pause this and bring it back and talk about the timing here. So a clear day, Tuesday. Sunny skies for just about everyone across the prairie. We'll get off to a sunny start on Wednesday morning for just about everyone. Maybe some showers across north central Alberta on Tuesday, or I'm sorry, Wednesday morning. I'm going to be doing this with my days here as we go through this video. I'm just, my week's already messed up with the holiday. Wednesday, midday, the main area of low pressure ejects across the prairie, doing something kind of like that. Widely scattered, or I should say widely isolated, showers and storms possible on Wednesday and Thursday as this thing makes its way through the area. Here is Thursday evening getting into Friday, and what you see here now, I'd say the best chance for maybe some showers is going to be across the foothills of Alberta. As what happens here, the area of low pressure is taking off, it's moving off to the east at this point, and then we've got a front that kind of extends down here across the plains and then kind of butts back up against the Rocky Mountains. So we can get some showers, maybe a couple storms to develop across this area with more organized shower and storm activity along the frontal boundary further south. But in general, cool and dry air on the back side of this frontal boundary. So total precipitation from the National Blended Model. Again, right here where you see nothing, don't rule out an isolated, maybe widely scattered shower or storm here. But again, the foothills uh, and along that frontal boundary as it kind of stalls across this region is the most likely area uh, to pick up some measurable precipitation, but still likely quite light as far as uh, you know, measurable precipitation goes. Not talking about much in the way of organized heavy precipitation. Then even the locally, uh, you know, heavier amounts are still going to be rather on the light side. Maybe some rain across the northern portion of the prairie, well north of the prairie, accompanying the main area of low pressure as it makes its way through there Wednesday and Thursday. But again, uh, you know, we had some question marks last week as far as what this coming week would look like. But I would say that favorable harvest conditions largely going to continue across the prairie here over the next five to seven days. And as we add in the next 10 days, this takes us all the way through September 16th. Again, the national blended model. This one's going to kind of smooth out some of the details. Can't rule out those isolated, widely scattered showers and storms. But by and large, we're keeping things dry across the prairie over the next uh, seven, maybe 10 days as we head deeper into the month of September. This is the 10-day precipitation forecast from the European model. Again, a lot of the precipitation being confined to really the eastern third of the U.S. and Canada here with a lot of dryness across central and western portions of the continent. Good agreement between the GFS on the left, European model on the right, the European a little more, uh, you know, aggressive with those isolated to widely scattered showers and storms, but this is still a very dry picture. And then the GFS pretty clear with that. Again, maybe that chance for some scattered showers and storms across the foothills here, running north of the prairie along that frontal boundary as it makes its way to the south. But really, you see the active corridor here across the U.S. and Canada, and it's the east, uh, the eastern U.S. really down into the southern U.S. where all of the moisture will be, and that'll become plainly obvious when we look at the pattern. What's driving things here? Well, getting started here, September 6th, ridge of high pressure across the western U.S. Here's the first little trough that's making its way through right now. Here's the next one waiting in the wings that makes its way through Wednesday and Thursday, riding over the top of the ridge here across the, uh, the western U.S. We'll put this into motion, take the drawings off there, we'll bring it back to Tuesday. Taking it into Wednesday, here comes your Wednesday, Thursday system right there. Here's the trough diving in again, making mostly a dry passage through the prairie, but bringing some cooler air. To get a shot of cool air late week. We'll be flirting with getting close to that dreaded five letter 
word that begins with the word F, but I don't think we're going to do it here late week. We'll talk about that here in a moment. What happens on the back side of this trough, though, late week, we get some ridging kind of building back in. So the shot of cool air is short lived. We see the temperatures warming back up as we head into the weekend, uh, the back half of the weekend into early next week, September 11th and 12th. Just by and large, the next five days, though, what's driving this pattern? Ridging west, troughing east. This is not a very wet pattern. This is one, again, that delivers shots of cool air. We already have talked about that's what is incoming. But uh, we continue to see troughs kind of just gathering here across the eastern U.S., across the, uh, the southern United States. And that's what's acted to kind of keep, keep the thunderstorm activity across this region. We get jet stream flow in advance of those troughs coming out of the Gulf. We get frontal boundaries coming out of the northwest, kind of just keeping things bullseyed on this region right there. Meanwhile, we are dry across the west. And that will be illustrated well here as we just animate a loop of the precipitable water across North America. And this is saying if we take all the moisture in the atmosphere, just, you know, right above your head, wring it out, how much do you have? It's a way we can kind of look at the, again, the the saturation of the environment, kind of what the, what the pattern is going to support. And so let's focus on the prairie, you know, right in this region right here. And just kind of look at the flow. You know, where is things coming from? Are we talking about real muggy air like we see down here with the, the deeper yellows, the red shadings, especially accompanying some of these tropical systems that we've got going? And the answer is no. You're seeing a lot of brown shading and you're seeing a lot of flow coming out of the northwest. Again, that is a cold look. A cold look, that's not what I meant. Take it back. That is a dry look. That is one that sends shots of cooler air, yes. But the, the bigger factor here is the drier air that we're not really seeing the, uh, you know, the pattern when we were dealing with all of the, the frequent shower and storm activity through much of the summer months, we were seeing that feed of Gulf moisture coming all the way from uh, the south, out of the Gulf of Mexico. We were seeing troughs across this region, jet stream support kicking off storm systems. So we had areas of low pressure kind of, you know, parking themselves right here with deep moisture coming up out of the Gulf of Mexico. We were getting those widespread corridors of showers and storms. This is very much not the pattern that we're seeing now. Again, you know, ridging out west, we're seeing troughing across this region. We're seeing storm systems develop down here across the, uh, the you know, the, the mid-south of the U.S. We're seeing that Gulf moisture come up, do something like this, uh, and, and keeping all of the rain activity across this region right here. Meanwhile, you know, systems are coming out of the northwest of the southeast, bringing in those shots of cooler and drier air. So I can draw the same pattern on just about every map here. But the point of the story is, as we head through the next 10 days, not much in the way of organized heavy precipitation. We do have a couple troughs making their way through here, especially this week. Another one here maybe on, you know, around day 9, day 10. But same story. They're they're not, you know, taking a long time to get through. They're, they're making their way out in a day or two. They're also not running into a real moist and uh, ready to precipitate environment, especially the one that comes in Wednesday and Thursday. It's right on the heels of the front that's making its way through right now. So we kind of squeegee the air mass, bring in some cooler and drier air. Then we bring in a storm system and it says, hey, where's all the moisture to work with? So what we get is a dry passage here Wednesday into Thursday. Again, maybe some heavier rain north. And then as the front stalls across the foothills, maybe some uh, you know clustered of showers, clusters of showers, uh, you know, maybe Thursday. But by and large, this is going to be kind of a cool, dreary, uh, you know, end to the week across the prairie here. Thursday, Friday, before the slow starts to spin off, we get high pressure building back into the region. Sky should clear. Temperatures should warm as we head into the weekend. So here's your temperature forecast then again. Area of low pressure making its way through now. Warmer in the east. Cooler air already coming in across the west. We'll go ahead and animate this over the next 10 days. Again, here's the uh, the shot of cooler air. It really, it doesn't even knock us below average. It sets us up maybe a couple degrees above average through the day on Tuesday. Warmer air makes its way in advance of the Wednesday-Thursday system, so excessive heat across southern Alberta, getting into central and southern Saskatchewan on Wednesday before here comes the shot of colder air out of the northwest as we get into the end of the week. You can see the date up here. This will be getting into Thursday and Friday. Then we take the drawings off, the pattern resets. We see heat once again try to build in across the west as we get into the back half of the weekend into early next week. So looking at those low temperatures, you know, when does the cooler air peak across the region? Your overnight lows waking up tomorrow, temperatures pretty close to 10 degrees, just about everyone or just about everywhere. Uh, here is Thursday morning. 
You see a little milder in the west, a little cooler, I'm sorry, milder in the east, cooler in the west. And here comes that shot of cooler air overspreading the whole region. This is Friday morning and then Saturday morning. Saturday morning looks like the coolest morning. This is the one where we're going to flirt with getting very close to that zero degree mark, but I think we'll stay a couple of degrees above that. Uh, maybe the higher elevations here, if there's any of you watching there across the foothills, getting up into the higher elevations, getting closer to that freezing mark. But I think just about everyone, we're going to have a very chilly Saturday morning, but one where I don't think that we, we bring the hard freeze in across the prairie. But that's the day to watch, kind of Friday morning and then uh, less or so Friday morning and then more so Saturday morning before temperatures start to warm back up heading through the rest of the weekend. Now your high temperatures here, mid 20s for just about everyone today, a little cooler as you head to the north. Let's go ahead and pause this one as well and animate that. I'll show you the excessive heat here Wednesday, your high temperatures in the mid 30s across Southern Alberta, Southwest Saskatchewan, much cooler on Thursday afternoon where temperatures are in the mid 30s on Wednesday. They'll be in the upper teens to near 20 degrees on Thursday down to the middle teens, upper teens on Friday, warming back up by Saturday, those high temperatures creeping back into the middle 20s across the West. As we look through the rest of September into the first 10 days of October, so this is the latest European long range forecast for September 10th through October 10th, keeping things on the mild side overall. We continue to, again, you know, see some cooler air late week, but it's a quick shot before we trend back mild. So not flipping into a cold pattern, just it's it's September. We're gonna get these systems coming through. We're gonna start to feel those shots of cooler air. Now the model also is bringing in a period of wetter than average conditions here mid-September. So as we talk about harvest conditions remaining favorable over the next 10 days, maybe a bit of a question mark here as we get into, I would call it, you know, the week of September 15th through the 22nd potentially turning you know active as we bring a trough back into the region this being the forecast here again as we get into september 13th through the 20th again looking at maybe some troughing developing here across western canada this would set us up again uh, for a favorable uh, pattern to bring maybe one or more organized storm systems into the region again mid-september into the third week of september your temperature forecast here calgary again excessive heat possible more likely a little bit further south on uh, Wednesday afternoon uh, and then that cool front comes in again a quick shot before we warm back up this is not a long lasting shot of cool air here as we get toward the end of the week Saskatoon very similar look Regina that low drop it down to around four degrees on Saturday morning as it stands right now keep in tune uh, with the the forecast here as we continue to update that if you're not subscribed to the daily report uh, leave a comment here. I'll let you know how to get that, but that's how we'll, we'll kind of keep a, a tab on those Saturday morning temperatures. Winnipeg, uh, not nearly quite as cool. That overnight low dropping down to around seven degrees at the worst on Sunday morning. I hope you have a great week. Great luck with the rest of your harvest.